what is up guys welcome back to my channel it's me emily and today i'm doing another music related video i am filming this on a very windy rainy day where there's not a lot of light but i feel like that's a really good vibe for this video because i'm going to be sharing with you guys r b and indie christian artists literally i'm so excited right now as you guys know i have shared multiple videos about indie christian artists in the past and i love indie music but i was kind of longing for something a little different so over the past honestly the past couple of months i've been compiling this christian r&b playlist and it's not totally done yet but it has a good amount of good r&b music that i really really like in there i know some people have mixed feelings about christian r&b because technically r&b is like love music and some people feel like why are we talking about jesus the way we talk about significant other but for the most part these artists at least make a handful of good songs that i really love there's no artist that is completely perfect and that i love every single one of their songs but these artists come close to that kind of let's get right into the video also i want to apologize for any noise that you hear there's lots of cars going by lots of wind lots of rain so it might get a little noisy. The first artist on here is I probably think the most indie out of the entire list. His name is SXXNT. I don't know if it's supposed to be sent, but I feel like if it was supposed to be sent, then there wouldn't be two X's. So I don't know, but I will put it right here on the screen, SXXNT, period. He makes a lot of like classic worship songs and he remakes them into either instrumental beats or he'll make actual like remakes for the songs like one that i really love is holy spirit and he literally has so many of them i have so many of his songs in my indie playlist too i think i'm not totally sure but he kind of reminds me of a more laid back montel fish or i should say like an older version of montel fish because montel's a little bit different now with the music he makes but that is definitely like just a staple artist that I love. And I do love most of the songs that he puts out. Oh, I like this one. Number two is Kenny Rivers. So I literally just found this guy at the end of last year. He makes very R&B Christian music. He has this song, which is like literally one of his top songs called Jesus Groove. And I was literally listening to it on repeat for the first time like that I found it. And I will say the lyrics may not be the most complex or comprehensive but i just love how it sounds like it just sounds so good so i really do like him and he makes a couple of other songs and he features on other songs that i really like and he did just make an album but a lot of it is spanish and i'm not exactly sure how i feel about it not because it's in spanish but i'm just not exactly sure how i feel about the item uh, the item i'm not exactly sure how i feel about the album um, considering I don't speak Spanish. So I've never really been one to listen to Spanish music, but maybe that's something I could try. But I also think it's cool that he makes such different music like that, like kind of Spanish music that isn't just a Spanish worship song, like a lot of worship bands do, but like a song that's just in Spanish about the Lord. I really like this girl. Also wanted to mention this list has a lot more female artists than indie, which I really appreciate because it really inspires me as like a christian artist and someone who just loves to make music to see like other women doing it so this girl's name is noelle neo and let me tell you her songs are so good and her voice is beautiful so she has a song that i always listen to on repeat it's called watchman and i just listened to a couple more of her songs and i love them i feel like she has such range with her voice and she also has so much creativity like in her lyrics and what she talks about and I just feel like it gives you that Janae Iko um did I even say her name right I don't know but Janae Iko SZA type of feel and I just love that for Christian music it sounds corny but like I don't think the world should have the best of the best music I think that God's people should have it and because everything that is done for God should be done with excellence and so I just love how good her music is. Like it just sounds good. And it's the type of music I really, really like. Hold on. Hello? What are you doing? I'm making a YouTube video. Are you here? Yeah, I'm still okay, can I call you when I'm done? 
I don't remember what I was saying. I love like the Sarah Jewers, Jewers. I still can't pronounce her last name. I love like the Sarah J type of music and like, um, who's that other girl? And Allie Page. I love their music, but the vibe is just so different from um, Noelle Mio and these next two artists whose names are Asha Alia and the second girl's name is Lauren Milne. So funnily enough, Lauren Milne actually kind of reminds me of Lauren Hill. She made a song called Promised Land and it kind of sounds like a live recording of really creative rendition of like the song that she wrote. And I found it so beautiful and so raw. And she has like lots of other songs like that as well that you guys should definitely check out if you're kind of into that more like longer, spontaneous, raw type of music. And then the other girl, Asha Aliyah, I think that she is Nigerian. I'm guessing by her accent. I usually find a lot of pride in being able to pinpoint whether people are Nigerian or not. Obviously, because I'm Nigerian, I guess it's probably not obvious at all. When I hear like the accent, like it kind of triggers me like, oh my gosh. But I think she's Nigerian and I really, really love her style. Like she brings that aspect of culture into her music, which I think is so cool because you a lot of times don't see that, like unless it's literally like Nigerian praise and worship, like Sunday morning praise and worship. Her voice, honestly, I couldn't even believe it. Like it literally sounded angelic and heavenly. The song is called Nights Like This and I love it. Like you have to listen to that song, if none else. I think some of her other songs weren't exactly my cup of tea, but her voice on this particular song was crazy. I love the range. I love the beauty of it. And I just love that it was so different from indie and worship, which is pretty much the only other things I listen to other than rap, which we will have to talk about in a whole other video. There was one other girl who I liked one song that she featured in, but I did not like her other music. Her name is Gabby Callwood, if you guys want to check her out. But she kind of makes very interesting, like almost rap style very lo-fi type of music personally like just lyric wise she wasn't my favorite next artist on here his name is ryan hilton he was actually one of my top artists that i found i was liking multiples of his songs and not just one or two here and there i feel like he does a really good job at being clear that like He's talking about Jesus and not his girlfriend. Another artist that does that, his name is Jeremiah Palton. And he's another artist that I loved all the songs. And he didn't make the R&B vibe super uncomfortable to be talking about Jesus, like sloppy wet kiss uncomfortable. I think he did such a great job of just being creative with the music, following that R&B vibe type of style without ruining the message. And I love how clear he made it that he was talking about Jesus and his lord and savior and the lyrics were not fluffy it wasn't like let's just put this here and put this here because it rhymes it was like these are intentional lyrics that like the lord put on my heart jeremiah palton his song clouds i really like and then he also has a song called moon and then he has another song which i forget the name of already but it had like a couple features in it and it was really giving like gospel and r&b vibes without being like super pumped up and upbeat if that makes sense i probably look so stupid doing that just now and the last artist that i have on here his name is schwa literally s-h-u-a the last part of joshua and he is apparently my boyfriend told me john keith's um younger brother his music is definitely more r&b hip-hop leaning than like the indie alternative side but um i only like two songs from him which i'll tell you the names right now aren't you tired and i don't want to cry and i really feel like if you like christian rap or you kind of like the low lo-fi hip-hop you should definitely definitely check him out and i would actually put him in the same line as this artist i know called christopher sincere with a y instead of an i because we're different and he makes rap music but he also makes like lo-fi it's almost like slow rap music i don't really know how to categorize it because it's not technically r&b but i really did like that it was a different style that i'm used to hearing especially in the christian genre so i would definitely go check out both of those artists and i guess with all the cameos i made of like some artist names this is technically a list of 10. so i hope you guys appreciated it so that's gonna be it for my list of christian r&b slash indie 
artist for this video. As always, I was so excited to make this video. I love, love, love talking about music. I love sharing my new artists with you guys when I find them. And I love when you guys share your artists with me. And also please start sharing your podcast with me because I am on a podcast hunt, a Christian podcast hunt. And I have a couple in my back pocket, but I kind of want some more that I really like so I can make a very good informative video with them. If you have more Christian artists that you want me to listen to, or if you want a Christian rap artist video, comment down below. Let me know. As usual, I love you all so 